Our top story tonight, a mother's emotional warning after her daughter is found dead in a dumpster on the other side of the country. Las Vegas detectives are working to find Tess Henry's killer. The 28-year-old spent much of her life in Roanoke, but an addiction to opioids led her to Las Vegas. There, she spent weeks in a rehab clinic, but on Mother's Day of this year, she called her mom and said she had walked out and was back on the street. Just before her body was found, the family was making arrangements to bring her back to Roanoke. Now her mother is speaking out, warning about the dangers of opioid addiction. 10 News reporter Arisha Jones has the story. Patricia Merriman comforts herself by remembering her daughter at all stages from her young life. And this picture of Tess Henry is one of her favorites. This is one of the pictures that I, I want to use like as at her service and remembrance. Her mother says she was a shining light in the family, but Henry struggled with the opioid addiction for almost five years, starting with prescription cough medicine. Merriman says she wanted to get better. And I kept saying, Tess, we just want you home. We want you home. We love you. We want you home. And she would say, I'm coming. Don't worry about me, Mom. I'm coming. Don't worry. Henry went to Las Vegas earlier this year for treatment, but left before she completed the rehab program. On Christmas Eve, her body was found burned in an apartment complex dumpster. Merriman is an advocate for the dangers of addiction and the need for funding for better treatments. This is a disease and it is a long term and it is a chronic disease. And one of the biggest problems I think is that it has been always viewed as something that we can treat short term and we can't. We have to look at and it's it's very difficult. I don't think there's any magic solution yet that I know of. And until a solution is found, Merriman says she will remember her daughter as a woman full of life. She leaves behind a young son who she loved dearly. Not only was she just so magnificently beautiful in her face and her smile, but she just had a way that she made everybody around her feel so blessed and so happy. In Roanoke, Arisha Jones, 10 News, working for you. Tess Henry was a graduate of Cape Spring High School and attended Virginia Tech and UNC Asheville.